Hey guys, what's up? Gort right here. I'm back here today for a brand new video. Um, we are continuing the Laura Fabian saga on the channel today. Um, I'm a little, uh, I try to dress up, but I'm a little dressed down. Um, I just got home from my day job, so I'm a little tired. Um, and it's uh, raining outside, uh, but we are back here to get the job done today as per usual. And I hope you guys are with me. Now, um, today's request once again comes from the Patreon. Um, I wanted to make a quick mention because there's been um, a few comments that I've uh, had to, I've looked at on the channel. I'm going to get back to as many comments as I can when I have time this week. But um, there seems to be a little bit of confusion what's going on on my channel. Um, and I wanted to just uh, clear it up. Um, I typically, um, uh, you know, in the past, I've gone by mostly the requests on my channel. Um, but um, as many of you may know, um, there's uh, copyright issues that um, are just, you know, mess everything up on YouTube for creators. Uh, so a lot of the uh, income that my channel uh, generates, I don't see it goes to the record labels. Um, and uh, that's, you know, it's for the amount of effort that a lot of creators put on into videos on this channel. It just doesn't, um, it's not sort of, it's not acceptable. For that to happen so um the uh, way that i have managed and other, other creators have managed to make their channels profitable is by using patreon to have supporters um you know pledge you know over there um in turn you know you uh put precedence on the request so that's basically um i look at requests from the channel and patreon but the people the requests that do come from my patreon are going to come first uh because those are the people who are you know supporting me um, that's just the way it goes. Um, it's nothing against anyone. It's just those requests are going to take precedence over the ones on my channel. Um, and that's uh, just the way it's going to be. But like I said, I do look at all requests and I do take it, everything into consideration. So don't think I'm ignoring you. It's just it's a system that I work by and that's the way it is. Um, now, uh, that said, um, what we're going to be looking at today is a performance from our Fabian Puramur. I believe that's how it's pronounced. I'm super excited. My first time seeing it with you guys, so I hope you are excited with me. Get something to drink, get something to eat, make yourself cozy. You know the deal. Nothing new on my channel because um, we're going to be having a good old time today as per usual. Let's get into it. Before I begin today's video, as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up at the end. You know the whole deal, the whole nine. Um, head on over once again to the Patreon and join the community for a good old time with me to you. Let's get into it. Avant de t'ouvrir la porte, te laisser partir. Avant de fermer mon cœur, j'aimerais te dire toutes les histoires sues. Inévitable, certaines personnes passent, quittent la table, mais nous, nous étions deux âmes jumelles. Nous avons su protéger nos ailes, enlacer devant l'éternel. Je nous sais plus fort Au-delà de cette douleur Tu vis des pays de la peur Je nous ai vu plus fort Je nous ai vu plus fort Qu'un tour par amour Après ce triste réveil Nos paroles amères Si nous lancions une bouteille Oh, 
laisser partir avant de fermer mon cœur. J'aimerais te. Thank you once again, um, Mr. Kevin, for that amazing request, Para Amor. Um, I have a boatload of stuff to say about this one as per usual, and I think at this point, a lot that's what we are here for, is to um, witness it and then chat about it. Um, I hope you guys like my style of doing these videos because that's what I have always wanted when I watch reaction videos. I can't stand when reactors run their mouths through the whole performance. I think you want to witness it and, you know, observe it and enjoy it, and then you comment on it. That's how it's supposed to be done, in my opinion, so that's how we do it on this channel. And with, uh, you know, that said, I'm going to begin talking all about it with you guys. Um, the number one thing I want to speak about um, with this performance is one thing I am a stickler for, and I've said this with the other videos, is a nice buildup in a song and especially about a, a, a sort of empowering ballad like this one um i feel and i don't feel i know i've said this with other um in other videos also just because one song requires you to begin it in the rafters and to go in swinging and punching like i always say doesn't mean that's how you're going to be able to approach another song Every song needs to be really, 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 um, you know, understood and studied well so you know how to go in and approach it. Um, just because it's a big ballad doesn't automatically mean you're going to be doing, you know, high notes and belting through the whole song. And that's a big, big misconception I see a lot of young singers do. I was one of them, is just approach every one of these big songs like it's, you know, you're going to be, you know, it's a huge diva ballad, you know, big powerhouse ballad kind of song. That's not the case. A lot of songs like this do have that um, sort of power ballad, um, anthematic a vibe, if you will, but the, appro the vocal approach that is necessary with them is not what you would expect. A lot of times these songs need a lot of really subtle moments that build into, um, you know, sort of a, uh, a climatic-esque um, you know, vibe toward the end, but they, it, it doesn't quite go there. It just heads there and it sort of leaves you wanting more. I mean, a lot of times that leave that, that what I just said, that, you know, feeling of it leaving you wanting more is what is the, so exciting about it. It's because you have that anticipation and you keep wondering what's next but it doesn't quite go there and then it withers off until the resolve at the end and i feel that is such an um underrated uh quality in this kind of performance because a lot of times singers feel you know i have to go there I, or they won't be impressed and a lot of times it's that feeling of mystery and you not going there you almost going there but not quite and then going back down into the resolve that really 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 sort of leaves a big impact at least with me and a lot of other people um, and Laura is so good at that, especially in this performance. The last one I reacted to her duet, she went in swinging and that song called for it. Like I'm always saying, you guys, that kind of song calls for it. But this one, she took a completely different approach. I mean, she came in, you know, like she does in a lot of her songs, really, really soft and the buildup, she waited till, you know, a little bit after the halfway point of the song to sort of build up. Um, in the intensity and in the vocals, and then she started going, you know, a little more, a little more toward the end, but she didn't go to the rafters. She just went 
quite enough to get you excited, but she brought it back down in the beautiful manner at the end. And I just think it works so well because it allowed for the actual message of this particular song to shine through. And I feel like, once again, what I said in the last video, the message of a song and the uh, vocal presentation have to match. Um, and there is so much um, that you can mess up if you don't really understand the, you know, the um, message of the song that you're, you know, you're going, you're portraying. You have to understand um, how, you know, to approach each line to leave the best impact on the audience. Like I've, I, I'm always talking about impact because it's so important that you don't just do things to impress people, but you do things that, you know, actually resonate with the, the words you're singing, the lines you're doing, you know what I mean? And she just did such a phenomenal job in this performance. I cannot think of any way it could have been better. She just, she always gets it. Um, and that's one thing that you guys heard me say in the last video. She knows what to do, where to do it, how to do it, when to do it. It's so, so important that you know exactly what notes to hit, where, why you're hitting the notes and making sure that what, how you're singing is matching the, um, you know, the words that you're singing, the line that you're singing in the song, the moment of the song, the, the um, place in the song. Um, and she, like I said, she just absolutely blew it out of the ballpark with this one. Now the message of this song, I am a stickler for the, 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 the uplifting, you know, the, those, those uplifting ballads that is my bread and butter, even in my own original music, I've always loved writing those kind of songs and bringing those kind of um, messages to life because I feel a lot of what we have in the music industry, and I've said this before, is a lot of negativity, just a lot of these uh, songs, especially, in po well, mainly in popular music that are just about bashing somebody, about throwing shade at people, so to speak, about just talking crap, talking smack about people, about being better than people. And I feel these kind of songs about uplifting and empowering and strengthening people have sort of got lost in you know transit transition um, and I love when people like her bring it back because that is like I said that is what it's all about at the end of the day in my opinion music about love about empowerment about inspiration about uplifting about strengthening about recovery about joy that is what I'm all, that's what I'm about. That's what I've always been about. And I feel that's what the uh, purpose of music originally was, not to be nasty to people, not to be mean, but to, you know, bring these beautiful qualities, you know, to, an, to life through art, which is the music. Um, and this song just, I absolutely was just blown away by the, the um, physical presentation of, and the depiction of the message in the song and the vocal. Everything in combined just was absolutely stunning. And it was powerful yet understated. And I, like I said, those two qualities coexisting together just, I, I feel, is just so, um, it's just such an undervalued thing because, like I said, a lot of times it's either one or the other. But when you can bring both together, it's absolutely a beautiful thing. I loved um, the story that was told through this, how the dancer, the, the guy with the crutches, how he started out, you know, really um, in a vulnerable position, not strong enough to do a lot of what he wanted to do. And then the girl, the ballerina came in and helped him through it. And toward the end, she took his crutches, you guys saw, and he did everything on his own. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I just, I mean, if I wasn't on camera, I'd probably, you know, be grabbing a Kleenex just because of that message rings so close to home with me because I've many of you can probably relate to this. I've had so many moments in my life where things um, have happened to me that have left me in very vulnerable positions, you know, even as a man. Um, and I've had to, um, you know, I, you don't want to sometimes, but you do need to, you know, ask for help and to lean on somebody and for someone to come in and, you know, help you and get you back on your feet. Um, and then, you know, sort of push you um, in the end to make that leap of, you know, into, you know, getting that, being back on your feet and being your best. I just absolutely um, can relate to that 100%. I love to see it brought to life in this because a lot of people, especially now, need that extra push and they need that motivation. There's a lot of, um, especially in present times, there's a lot of mental health issues um, and a lot of people are crying for help and they do need that little, that helping hand and they do need that motivation and that what you reason to go move on and to go on in life um and i feel songs like this really um can uh you know 
impact people in that way and giving them hope and, and to letting them know not to give up, uh, you know, to keep pushing forward and to reinforce um, their purpose. You know what I mean? And I just, like I said, absolutely love to see it. Gave me chills. Um, and was such a good, um, like I said, a beacon of hope in the, in the, in the, in the industry that, you know, pushes darkness and negativity. Um, she, Laura Fabian, she just, I think she just gets more beautiful with age and this just shows. I absolutely love the look of this music video. I love her. I love the sort of mystery that the, the dark elements with the colors and everything being very, very sort of, um, undercast. Um, I absolutely love that, and I just feel it really, really suited that message um, with those, you know, little moments of light through the music video. Just everything, just like I said, everything coexisted so well, and I said that in the last video. That is so important for everything, and even a music video, well, especially in a music video, it needs to make sense, and it needs to um, be cohesive. The theme with the vocals, with everything, the message, with the look. Everything needs to be cohesive, and Laura is such an artist. She always just naturally has an eye for all of this and has an ear for everything, and it just all makes sense, and it works. Um, and like I said, it's such a rare thing to see. It's usually people just looking to show off and just looking to wear provocative things and to, you know, just, you know, sing impressive, you know, riffs and runs, and none of it makes sense together when, you, you know, it all comes together in the end. But with her, everything, every performance, whether it be live or in the music video I see from her, everything, you know, coexists and it all makes sense. It all meshes. You know what I mean? Um, it's a unit, so to speak. It's not a bunch of random scattered things being thrown together, you know, in a hurry. It all is very well put together and placed. And I am a, absolutely have so much respect for that as a fellow artist and musician. Um, just absolutely stunning. Like I said with the, earlier, with the, her vocals um, were absolutely breathtaking in this, as per usual, but in a very, very undertoned way. Um, and my personal opinion, I've said this before, but I'm going to continue to say it. I feel the best singers have the capability of being really, really, really impressive, not just at the, at the top of their range, but also at the bottom of their range. I've always strived to be one of those singers myself. I trained. I did a lot of, I, you know, my whole life I worked, to, you know, to be, you know, that kind of a singer. And there's not too many of them. Um, and that's why, it, it, Laura, that's one of the reasons that, she, that well, it's one of the many things that places her out, you know, in her own league is she just is one of the best at, you know, both. She's the, she can bring the best of both worlds in such a seamless, effortless way. It's that diamond in the rough quality that I feel is just, so rare these days especially a lot and i've said this before a lot of singers are a fit in a niche they're either good at one thing or they're good at another they can't do it all and um that's great for them but like i said when we're talking about truly great singers and performers and artists i feel when you are like laura and well there is none like laura but when you are her and you can just do all these things at the level that she can do with so much grace, so much beauty, so much elegance, um, and so much, so much precision, um, yet so naturally, that's what, like I said, puts you, at, at, you know, bounds above the rest. Um, and that's why, once again, I, well, we are getting justice for her, and we're going to make sure that everyone knows that she is the fourth voice of the vocal trinity. She always was, she always will be, and she will get her crown in the end no matter what. Um, and this was just another testament to that fact. Um, it's just absolutely breathtaking. Um, and it just goes to show um, that whether it be live or, um, you know, a, a live performance or, you know, in the studio, there's never going to be any questioning of the, her ability. She can do it all. What you hear on the record, what you see in this music video, she can produce even better live. And that's not something that I can say about 90% of what's going on with today's artists. Nine times out of 10, everything is pre-recorded. There are, you know, a bunch of different vocal effects happening and a lot of people don't even realize it. There is compression, there is auto-tune, there is, you know, pitch correction, all sorts of things. I don't think there's anything wrong with that per, per se done in a very small amount in the studio. It's part of the game. But when you have to rely on those things in a live setting, we got some problems and you 
either A, got some work to do, or he just not cut out for it, period. Um, and that's the case for a lot of today's artists, but money is the, uh, you know, the focus in the music business, not talent. It doesn't matter. It's a sad truth, but it does not matter. If you are marketable and you have a sound that can be marketed and you have a look that can be marketed and packaged and put together and sold to the public, you're in. Doesn't matter if you're one of, if you're a great singer, doesn't matter if you're a bad singer. If you're marketable, you're in. Bottom line, that is why I am so big on keeping people like Laura in the, um, you know, the, the, the public eye on my channel because I am just so passionate about true talent. I always have been. Um, I myself um, have, for those of you who don't know, um, I'm an independent music artist, but I'm also the lead singer of a, you know, very high profile wedding band here in Naples. Um, I, you know, started my independent career when I was uh, 12 years old in the studio. I fought really hard through my 20s to get recognition. Um, I, you know, did small tours. I played in small venues. I played in big venues. I released five studio albums, but I was blackballed by the music industry because of a bunch of politics. I didn't play the game. I was always one of the best in my field, but I didn't play the game. So I was blackballed in a similar way. Um, but I made my own way, um, you know, in the live entertainment industry. And it's just a sad truth that that is um, what you have to face in the industry. And true talent oftentimes does not get the full credit that it deserves. But that's why we're on my channel. And that's why I am so passionate about bringing awareness to Laura because she is just one of the, you know, like I said, she's one of the most stunning performers, I think, to ever grace the stage and to hit the microphone. And she just needs to get her flowers, in my opinion, and everybody else's opinion, you know, no matter what, especially here in America, I feel, like I said, there's such a uh, um, cast, uh, sort of a veil over true talent, and there, it's, it's um, sort of, it, I, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's like, it's sort of like a battle of the one-hit wonders, especially these days, when people that have been doing it for the longest like her sort of get swept to the back by, you know, sort of what's hot and what's trendy these days. And I am here with you guys to change that and to sort of blaze a trail through that to sort of get people like, you know, get Laura to the, you know, more eyes and ears here and just get her, you know, better known in the public. So, you know, she does get the credit that she deserves. I am so happy I was able to review this with you guys today. Once again, thank you, Kevin, for this uh, request. And I cannot wait to see more from her coming soon. Thank you so much for joining me today on this channel. Once again, if you are not subscribed, I need you to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. And once again, head on over to the Patreon. Join everybody there. Uh, for first access on all content to come forth from me on this channel. And you will also get precedence with your requests if you are a member over there. I cannot wait to see the next video from her to come soon on my channel, and I can't wait to bring you guys along. Thank you once again. I will see you guys soon, and have a wonderful day. Peace.